My name is Teofilo Obenga. I came from Congo originally, from Central Africa, Congo. And now I'm teaching, I teach at San Francisco State University. And my field of expertise is basically non valley civilization, ancient Kemet, ancient Egypt. I teach philosophy, linguistics, and medical nature. The location of Kemet is where? There is no such thing like Near East. There is no Near East. It's on the continent, African continent. Kemet is there. It's not on Near East. What do you mean by Near East? Near East is which continent? So it was the location is always a debate. They want to take Menan Valley civilization out of the continent, not from the continent. You see what I mean? And then, uh, not only the location, also people who build this civilization, they were uh, uh, which kind of, uh, let's say, phenotype, which kind of a color. So we discussed that too, and we agree it was black people who built that, African people, in ancient time, who built this civilization. It was obvious. And which kind of language? They used to call that is Afro-Asiatic language. But this, uh, there is no such thing like Afri uh, Afro-Asiatic family. Because it's the, almost impossible to put together in the same family uh, Semite language like uh, Akkadian, Hebrew, Phoenician, Arabic, and then Berber and Kushat language and Egyptian language in the same, the same family. Nobody can succeed. It's impossible to do that. When they do that, just pure ideology. There is no scientific fact, you see. So we remove the language, Kemet, Egyptian language, from this uh, fake family called Afro-Asiatic family in the United States, called also in France, basically they call that Kamito-Semitic family. There was no such thing like that. And then the philosophy itself, the thought, the mind, the culture, belong to which people now? So the culture, uh, what they did, uh, the circumcision, the, the way they live, their values, their, uh, I say their, the, even relationship between men and women, the way they build their civilization, for 35 centuries, 35 centuries, there was no slavery in Kemet. There was no kind of uh, modern sexual behavior we have that now. They didn't have that in Kemet. There was no jail. They didn't build the jails. In Africa, we don't have the, know the system of to put people in jail if they do bad. We know how to punish them, but we don't build uh, state jails to put people in jail. No. Kemet didn't do that for 35 centuries. There is no slavery, no jail, no torture like that. So they have their values was basically mad. The, the foundation of a chemical civilization was mad. Uh, mad is first you must understand. Uh, if you don't understand, you don't comprehend how you can do anything. You must understand. Human beings, they must start first by understanding. It's clear in my mind, I can judge, I can listen. I can criticize, so I can take my, make my decision. But if it's not clear in my mind, I will kind of decision I can make. So math is the first, is, a, is the understanding of things. Mm. Everything came after what you call balance, consciousness. If you, de if you don't understand which kind of consciousness you will have. If you, don't if you don't understand the situation, which kind of value will promote. So commit is the first understanding. It's a question of a mind. You understand your own relationship with the nature, with the cosmos, with the society, with the governance. So if you understand that very well, where am I? Now you can, uh, you can build your life up on some values. So it's first like that. So at the end, a Kemet, ancient Egypt, or non valley civilization, Nubia, Abyssinia, all these things belong to African people. So it's a debate why? Because, you see, in antiquity, it was no debate for Greek people. Ancient, it was black civilization. They said that. They went there, they saw people not as mummies, they saw them living in the market, they saw people in the market, in the temple, 
They wrote, all of them, all Greek, Greek are white people. They don't make confusion. They say these people are black with a kinky hair. It's written by all Greeks or scholars who went to Kemet. You see? It was like that in antiquity. Herodotus said that, Aristotle said that, all of them. It was no debate by that time. It was obvious. Like I'm black now, nobody discussed that. You see? It was like that. Now, from the 13th century, 13, 14, uh, until now, uh, when we went to, through slavery, Western civilization uh, makes slavery and colonization, so you don't uh, praise your slave. You don't say, you are my slave, but you give me civilization. You are my slave, but I owe you everything. You are, you are my slave, but I owe you my philosophy. You don't do that. You must uh, kill your slave. He's nothing, he has no soul, he's, a, he's not a human being, he's a primitive guy. You give your good reason to yourself to justify. Uh, you must take somebody out of humanity to make him slave. He's a crime against humanity, this one. You see? So the, this one, they, they, they raise all black civilization. You are nothing. You did never do nothing. So don't mind if you make you slave. Because even Kemet doesn't belong to you, Zimbabwe doesn't belong to you in, in Zimbabwe now. The bronze in Ife, Ile, in Nigeria, it was not black people who did that. It was Cartesianist people who did that. You see? Everything. You are not able to do nothing. This uh, David Hume said that. The British, the Scottish philosopher. Hegel, the German philosopher, repeat that. Uh, Franz Boas, the, the famous anthropologist in the he repeat that. They call that we are primitive, a savage, nothing is good, uh, including our mind, our spirit, our body, our spirituality is a savage, our religion. So you must say that, you see, this is the question with Western civilization. So we don't believe that, you see, you, you must justify yourself. It was like that. It's a recent, it's modern business. In antiquity it was... Relationship was different. There was no white supremacy. There were not white supremacy. is a modern business. It didn't start. They will never always uh, supremacy said the beginning. No, they owe uh, their mathematics, their, their uh, math, their uh, architecture, their religion, their philosophy. They owe that to Kemet. They went there to learn. So it was not white supremacy. They learned from uh, Kemet. You see, to build their own civilization. And after that, when they became so powerful, you have uh, even black people who was uh, uh, emperor in, in Rome. Black, pure black people. They were emperor in Rome. It was no white supremacy. You have black pope too. It was no white supremacy. We rule the world. Now the situation changed from the 13th century only. So since maybe... Uh, seventh century, we have the general situation. It was not like that always. So, we have a lot to do. Uh, we must uh, uh, do our uh, business, what we have to do, do the job. And uh, we are not against anybody. It's not to be against. It's to know more about yourself and more about humanity and try to bring contribution to the world. It's like that. So is uh, the, this complex of inferiority is over. Is over. I like to, to say I'm doing well, I'm okay, uh, healing me. Heal what? You are not sick. Well, heal for what? You have to do the job. We must do the job. Uh, we, we do well in uh, some uh, in in uh, art, in music, in, in athlete athletes. We do well. We must do the same in business, we do well. We must, in politics, we do well. So we must do well in a pure intellect business. We must do well too, why not? We must learn to do nature, we must know African language, African philosophy, African spirituality, African culture, African values, know that very well, bring that on table, be proud of that, because if it's lost, humanity will, will, uh, will lose something. So it's good for us to bring this kind of... If, we, if they don't study Buddha, Buddhists, we'll, we'll lose Buddhists. They may study Buddhists. 
If they, 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 they don't study Christianity, the Bible, we lose that too. So it's good to study. Uh, everything is a part of humanity, it's a legacy. So we study because it's part of humanity. It's not to say we are proud, we did, uh, came it, they did. Now we have to do to build the new, para, new pyramid, that's all. New schools, new homes, new families, new community, not people in jail, nothing like that. Be there, and do well, and uh, be positive. This is what we have to do now. It's not uh, just to, to try to sing the same song every day. If you don't do your own history, okay, I will do for you. Okay. Uh, so if I do for you, uh, don't cry that it was is uh, uh, badly done. If you don't do Western civilization, they will do our history according to Eurocentric paradigm. Mm. Yes, they will do that. So we will learn any art, our history through Western bias, Western Eurocentric paradigm. We learn. They will study. They have money, they travel, they make pictures, they study, photo, they will study. <laughs>